One of my heroes passed away last week, Nelson Mandela. Uh, any Mandela fans in tonight? Nelson Mandela was an inspiration. He went from being a prisoner for 27 years to the leader of South Africa, which is amazing. Just think about how much more he would have achieved if he was white. <laughs> That's the thing, like, because David Cameron has actually tried to keep a distance from himself and some of the posters that were made by conservative students in the 1980s, like this one. They actually came out with this. Can you believe that? Hang back. Now they're trying to say what we were trying to say was this. We tried to hang back. <laughs> oh, we love Mandela. We love black people. <laughs> so you think kids these days, they don't even know who Nelson Mandela is. Basically, Nelson Mandela was like Barack Obama, but black. <laughs> Obama was at the memorial this week. He was, he was devastated. He was absolutely devastated. <laughs> Taking a selfie. And trying to chirp a white woman. <laughs> so a new study of 14,000 English speakers has highlighted the difference in language between the North and the South. Different people in different parts of the country speak in different ways. Like, I recently did a gig in Liverpool, right? And I asked the audience what they did for a living. No one said anything. <laughs> I'm joking, of course, Scousers haven't got their own word for job. It's benefits. See, in the north, they say things like, all right, mate, excuse me, mate, excuse me, like, excuse me, mate, excuse me. While in the south, we say things like, get out of the way, you slag. <laughs> we don't mess about. Like, 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 we use words like fruit and veg, while in Glasgow, they say, deep fry that bastard. <laughs> it's already deep fried. Don't him out, deep fry again. <laughs> But another study says that the differences are actually disappearing. Like, Glaswegians use some of the words that Cockneys use, like, um, Lidl. <laughs> Dole. <laughs> Longer. And benefits. <laughs> All working people are speaking the same language. Polish. Because within 50 years from now, Britain, everyone's going to have the same accent. It's all going to be merged into one. Like, you're going to speak to someone, you go, uh, How are you? Are you all right, David? I'm all right, man. What's going on? I don't know what's going on. I don't know why I'm turning in. And all of a sudden, I was speaking like Kyrie, but I don't know why I was talking like that. Is that what's happened to me? I don't know why I've become Indian. No, I don't know. What the monkey is, uh, no, I don't know why. And now I'm all of a sudden, what the bomb like? Yeah, I'm dealing with rude boy. <laughs> This is how powerful he was. His greatest achievement, right, as a politician, was in 2009 when he won Westminster Dog of the Year. 